I'm going to attempt to try to get Arduino support for my Mac. So I have my Arduino plugged in and we will attempt to just do this. So I use the Arduino command. Now it can't do anything because it's saying it doesn't have the MATLAB support for the Arduino hardware. So the nice thing here is I can just click this and then it will bring up this add-on explorer on another screen. Uh, there it is. And then I can just uh, click install. Install. I accept the license agreement. That took a few seconds for it to even come up. And I'm just going to hit accept and let it get all of the software it wants to get. Okay, so that took, I don't know, maybe five minutes. Uh, I'm going to let it set things up now. I'm going to use USB here. I'm going to choose my board. I'm going to click ultrasonic and serial. And I guess I'm going to pick this port. This is one of the funny things about Arduino. Sometimes even when I connect it, it might get a different port later. But for now, we'll use that. We'll hit program. Well, not much is happening when I hit program. Here I found that my computer does in fact detect an Arduino. Let's see what happens when... Uh... Okay, so the issue here is this serial interface is not supported. Okay, so we'll get rid of it. Now it's programming, okay. Okay, it claims it was successful. I hit next. Here are the connections at this time. Uh, let's test the connection. Okay, well, it looks like I successfully installed it. Now, I can uh, take note of this box, restart, Type Arduino setup. Fine, I'll just check both of those boxes and see what happens. They bring up some documentation. Here's the Arduino Explorer. Oh, that's kind of nice. I haven't seen that before. All right, well, that might come in handy. Okay, so I learned a couple of things about connecting to the Arduino on MATLAB 2022A on a Mac. Okay, so the first thing is I can't have the Arduino Explorer open, so I closed it. Uh, the other thing is uh, there's this Arduino command that's supposed to create an interface to the Arduino. So I'll put here AH for Arduino handle. And I'll just show you that that fails. It says no constructor string with matching signature found. So there is something wrong with the code. I think that's an error. It probably shouldn't work like that. I found there's a workaround though. And in order to do that, I need to know what port my Arduino is connected to. And on a Mac, it is not very clear, but I found out how I can tell what port it is. If I do ls space dev, uh, well, forward slash dev, forward slash. That's going to list a bunch of things here, a lot of devices. Uh, so uh, I learned that 
it's actually dev forward slash cu. Uh, so let's try this again. And then we'll put cu dot star. And here's everything that comes up with a cu. So there's a Bluetooth incoming port. And then there's a, I don't know what that is, BL. It looks like Bluetooth perhaps, but okay. This one I recognize from the Arduino setup that it's this USB modem 141301. So to make the Arduino handle AH Arduino, and I need to put in a string here. Ah, okay, well, it's already connected, so I will first clear everything. And let's try that again. That, by the way, is what happened when I had the uh, Arduino Explorer open. It said, hey, I'm already connected. I can't make a new connection. But now I have made a new connection to the Arduino. So that's the command I want to use. Uh, it's Arduino, and then I specify a port name. And now I have a connection to my Arduino object. We'll, we'll learn how to use that later, but at least I have a connection.